We may not be able to list all the elements in the set, so we cannot write the roster form always. So, we have another representation of the sets and this is called the set builder form or the rule form. B is equal to X such that X is an even natural number. C is equal to X such that X is a set of all prime numbers less than 23. Here the letter X denotes any arbitrary term. The bar is called or it stands for such that. Write the set A is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5 using the set builder form. Solution a is equal to x such that x is the set of natural numbers between 1 and 6 or a is equal to x such that x is a set of numbers 2, 3, 4 and 5. That's simple, isn't it? Of course, there are more than one way of writing. Let's see another example. Write the set E is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 using set builder form. Solution E is equal to X such that X is a set of even numbers and X is less than or equal to 10 or E is equal to 2x such that x is a natural number and x is less than or equal to 5. Write the set V is equal to A, E, I, O, U using the set builder form. Solution V is equal to x such that x is a vowel in English alphabet. Now we know the representations of the sets and how we write a set, right? Let us now look at the empty set or the null set and the singleton set. Consider B is equal to the set of all negative natural numbers. Do we have a natural number that is negative? No, na? So, how would you write the set as? It is written as B is equal to or B is equal to phi. We call such sets with no elements as null set or empty set. Is this the same as writing this? No. Here 0 is an element. It is the only element in the set. Hence, it is not an empty set. It is called a singleton set. A set containing only one element in it is called a singleton set. Now let us write the set of all natural numbers that is A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. We know it keeps on going, correct? Now what about the set of all even integers? It is um, minus 14, minus 12, minus 10, minus 8, minus 6, minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2, 4, 6 and so on. Here on either side the numbers can be written. Is there an end? How many numbers can you keep writing? Such sets in which we may write infinite number of elements 
is called an infinite set. So, what is a finite set? Yes, sets for which we can count the number of elements is called a finite set. For example, the number of students in your class, the number of students in your school. Can we count the number of students in your entire school? We can, right? So, however large, the set is after all finite. Now, consider the set of all natural numbers. There are less than 20, then our set would be 1 to 20, right? Here we are able to count the number of elements and hence this set is finite. So when are we able to find the last number of a set? Then the set is finite and if we can't find the last number then it is infinite. Okay, so when do we say that two sets are equal? Let's see.